guys um so i just wanted to do a little um video um for the one to eight months because i will be doing a nine month video when he turns 10 months just because he's lived a full like from one like nine month to nine month if that makes sense um anyways i wanted to um do like a little milestone thing like certain things that happened from months one to eight that i think are important that maybe he would want to look back on and just kind of know how he progressed or i mean even you guys <laughs> Was terrified <laughs> I remember he came home and I was like he started getting all these red dots and I I thought he was allergic to my cats and I freaked out I was like oh my god we need to take him back to the hospital there's something wrong with him and they did warn us they told us like oh he might develop like these red dots it's because of the hormones that are leaving your body like that were in your body leaving his body so um but yeah, let's see, month one, he pretty much did nothing but sleep, eat, poop, and cry. Um, he was waking up every two to three hours to eat. Uh, I breastfed for two weeks. I was really wanting to breastfeed, but um, it actually really hurt. And uh, he didn't have a latch problem, no tongue tie, no lip tie. I strongly believe that women that say breastfeeding doesn't hurt you are different beings you're different creatures because it, it hurts <laughs> or at least it hurt me and i mean i that's to be uh tmi but i thought i could handle it because i used to have my nipples pierced but i don't anymore i took them out when i was pregnant but um yeah anyways um i did i stopped breastfeeding in about two weeks because it was just at a point where we were like I'd be crying, he'd be crying, my milk supply was low, pumping was just not working for me, so we switched to formula, and ever since we switched to formula, both of our, like, our relationship, our bonding, everything got so much better. So, um, I'm a huge supporter on both. I think everybody should try breastfeeding, because it's really important for those, you know, um, especially that colostrum, it's really important, but at the same time, I think fed is best. So breastfeeding or formula, whatever you have to do to make sure your baby's healthy is what I think anybody should do. Um, so month one, he did roll over like two weeks after we brought him home, but I guess that's pretty common in newborns from what I was reading. I don't know. Um, cause he didn't roll over again until like three months. So, uh, I think that's about it for one month. So yeah. Look at you smiling. Are you smiling? Ronnie. Look at you. Look at you lifting your head up. Yeah. <laughs> 
lifting his head up on his own he started to smile which was my favorite thing ever and then right at the end of two months uh, going on to three months he started to laugh like little bits and pieces he started to giggle um that was i oh my god my heart like gets so happy and warm when i think about the first time he laughed oh oh my gosh it's just so cute um so yeah Two months, it was kind of the same thing as one month, just kind of progressing more and more, grabbing more, uh, opening his eyes more, and um, being able to see a little bit further of a distance. Uh, one app I totally recommend is the Wonder Weeks. I paid for it on the App Store when I had my iPhone. I don't anymore, but I paid for it, and I think it was a really good purchase. Um, it seemed pretty spot on with everything, so obviously not. it's not going to be spot on for every baby. Every baby's different, but it was pretty spot on for my baby, and so I think that anybody should give that a... Just look at it. Just look at it. Um, I... I think that's pretty much it for two months. Look at you! Hi! Hi! Look at you! Hi, buddy! Hi, Ronnie! months was when it started really happening uh, a lot more where he was inching and things like that um, laughing a lot more uh, eating he started eating uh, more I think by three months he was eating six ounces maybe less maybe he was eating five ounces it's hard to remember because I know during six months he was eating six ounces um, we started food with him I think at two or three months. I really can't remember. Um, I know it's in the video. I just can't remember right now. Um, but we tried food with him. Um, he really likes food, but he has an attachment to his bottles even still. <laughs> Happy Easter, Ronnie. 
Look at your cool dino egg. <laughs> you like that little guy? <laughs> you like? You're so good at it now. photos for Easter and that was pretty nice um, we four months he started to want to sit up but he couldn't do it on his own yet um, <clears throat> and he was pulling himself up like if I hold his hands he was pulling himself up and standing up on his own so his legs were pretty strong around four months um, crawling again more like more the inching um, I think four months was when we had some sleep regression problems. So he was waking up every two to three hours in the one month, but then uh, two month, three months was when we started to put him down at around eight o'clock every night and he would wake up maybe once or twice, but he was a relatively good sleeper. But four months, the regression I think kind of started where he started waking up every couple hours again, wanting to be by us. Um, I probably didn't handle it the right way. I definitely would just go and get him and then sleep with him, like bring him out with me and sleep with him. Uh, a lot of people, it's a huge controversial topic of co-sleeping and not co-sleeping. I am okay with co-sleeping. I, uh, I do know the risks of it and I think that before anybody makes a decision, they should just be educated about it. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. But anyways, I would go get him and then he would sleep the rest of the night. is when he started sitting up on his own um, it was honestly pretty cool because I actually got it on video the first time and I think that's in the five-month little spiel um, 
but yeah, five months, he started sitting up on his own. He started getting way more of a personality. He started saying mama and dada. Um, he also was saying a lot more things like baba and um, he said boo, but he hasn't said that in a while now, but he said boo. Um, he is on a normal poop schedule. If it's a little bit TMI, I'm sorry, but now he's on a normal poop schedule. Um, his poop, because of the formula, it's like a weird clay, greenish color, unless he eats food, then it kind of matches the color of his food. Um, so yeah, that was five months. Say puppy! Six months was when we started, that was June, so Father's Day happened and I made a pretty cool Father's Day gift. Insert an image of that right now. My uh, boyfriend's Father's Day gift, he looks so cute, he smiled in every single picture, oh my god. Um, but yeah, so that was that and he, <sighs> I'm trying to think what else happened during six months. Six months I know he was eating six ounces, sometimes seven ounce bottles. Definitely started crawling. He was definitely crawling at six months. He started using his walker toys at around six months. Like I said, personality crazy. He like laughs at everything at, by this time now. Um, started throwing temper tantrums, very, very mild temper tantrums at six months. Um, and yeah.
started going to the pool we went to a friend's house that has a pool we went to uh, another friend's house who has a water park by her house and we went there and we brought him over there several times throughout his seven month life um, we he really likes the water he has a really good time with the water um, he definitely was eating seven ounce bottles we went to uh, 4th of July fireworks. That was a lot of fun. He really likes those. He thought they were pretty. You could kind of tell just like the look on his face. Um, he also um, started saying Mama and Dada more. Um, he also started mimicking my cats, which is funny. Uh, so like they'll meow around him and then he goes ah! like all high pitched trying to, like and chases them around the house. It's really funny. Um, and he still does that now. So there is that seven months. What else happened during seven months? Um, I don't think we were getting ready to go on vacation. We hadn't gone on vacation yet. Actually, technically the beginning of seven months, he was on vacation, but he turned eight months during vacation. Um, so I guess I'll get into eight months now. Can we? You better come get me! 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 Come here! Come here! starting to pull himself up on things. He is cruising, but very, very mildly, like he's kind of afraid of it. So he mostly just stand, like pulls himself up on the furniture and then just stands there. Um, let's see, we went on vacation. We went to Alabama to go see all of uh, my boyfriend's family. So it's pretty cool because Ronnie got to meet, um, little Ronnie got to meet Ronnie's grandparents. So that's his great grandparents. Hi, Misa. Thank you for interrupting my video. So kind of you. Anyways, yeah, so we went to vacation. It was the first time little Ronnie seen the um, Gulf of Mexico. So that was pretty cool. Can you go? Um, he really liked it. He had a good time. He, uh, I think we had a little bit of a constipation issue when we were in Alabama. And I don't know if it was because maybe it was just so hot. Maybe he got a little dehydrated. Um, still very inexperienced and like water is something you don't really introduce until at least six months so like we were still kind of getting into the swing of again we were still kind of getting into the swing of giving him water but um vacation was actually when we started doing food and bottle feedings in a more uh routine type pattern so 
since eight months, he has been eating an eight month or an eight month, an eight ounce bottle um, for one meal, and then he his next meal, which is about three to four hours later, he will eat um, a five ounce bottle and a container of food. Um, sometimes it varies, you know, like sometimes I do like a four ounce bottle and two containers of food or whatever, you know, I just kind of go off of him. I listen to his cues. So, um, we also started all of the teething biscuits and, um, puffs and everything at eight months as well, because he started to get his two bottom teeth, um, and those mush in the mouth really easily. So that's, if you're ever curious on when to start those kind of things, I think that seven or eight months is a good time to start that. Um, so now he gets those with his snack time. And let's see, I think, um, eight months, that's pretty much it. Uh, his sleep is back on track. Um, he, we are sleep training him right now as in what we normally do is like we, we try to get him to go to sleep between eight and nine and he'll fall asleep like out in the family room with us. Um, but what we're trying to do now is bring him into his room, um, at, um, like eight and just let him cry it out and, uh, fall asleep. It's been a little rough, but. I'll give an update on that more so in his like nine month video because we started that at around eight months. Um, not not like started it every night, but like we started it like just a few times here and there to see how it would go. But um, I would say now we're doing it more. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for that. Um, I think I'm gonna do a more updated postpartum video. Um, I also have some other videos that I've already edited. I just haven't uploaded yet. We did a, um, we did a, um, we went to the pumpkin farm. Uh, so there's a whole video on that. Uh, I'm going to do a video, combined video of his, um, uh, another photographer video for his newborn food photo shoot, which we did 11 days after he was born. And then I'll do, in that same video, I'll do his sitter session, which is, um, he did it around, I can't remember if it was six or seven months, but he did it in between then, um, just to show like some milestones and, you know, how he's sitting up and just how different he looks. And I just really enjoy my photographer's work. So I'll do a small little dedicated video to just that. It's it's literally just going to be a slideshow. It's not going to be anything crazy, so you don't have to look at it or anything. Um, but if you're interested, then take a look. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll see you on October 19th, which is when he'll turn 10 months. But I will do his nine-month update. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.